Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back today with another one, another video. I've covered so much regarding Coachella. There's so many videos on my channel. I'll try to go through them. Harry Styles, Shania Twain, they did Man, I Feel Like a Woman, Pablo Vitar, Rina Sawayama, Follow Me. I've done Anita with Involver. I've done 2NE1. I don't know who they were, but you guys commented on that video and filled me in with a lot of their work so i can't wait to check out more of them and manskin was my most recent video go check all them out and we're going to get into the weekend in this video we're going to be watching his performance of three songs save your tears heartless and out of time i've heard two of those i've covered two of those on the channel and i've also covered his album don fm i've never heard heartless i haven't listened to anything before Don FM, I only really heard Blind and Lights and Save Your Tears. I've only heard Radio Hits and Don FM. So Heartless is something new to me and we're going to just dive on into it. This is going to be a lengthy video. This video I found is nine minutes long. We're starting off with Save Your Tears. Before I hit play, guys, subscribe down below. Subscribe, like the video, turn notifications on. I want to be posting more Coachella, so let me know in the comments as well. Any other artists you want me to react to, I've got Doja Cat and Billie Eilish on my list. They'll be uploaded tomorrow, but for now, we're going to hit play. Okay, this looks like some more crowd footage. An audience member recorded this, so I'm not sure of the quality. Okay. He's looking fine in this all black. Look at his arms. If you saw my Instagram, I shared a picture of him like this. Go check my Instagram to see my thoughts and my caption. He's just fine. He is looking fine. And we've got some synth production in the background. Love that. He's smiling. He's letting the crowd sing along. And if you watch my Monskin video, I love when an artist interacts with the crowd. It brings the energy levels higher. It makes everyone more positive, And it's just a mood. I love this lighting as well, the blue, the very majestic lighting. It's so simplistic, him just standing center stage. And for the chorus, he's letting the crowd just sing along. He's not getting anything back from the crowd, which I'm disappointed in, but he's holding down. He's holding it down. This beat drop. This beat dropped. And he's owning it. It feels so empowering. I know he was to do this with Swedish House Mafia, I believe. I don't know if they're doing this production. I don't know if they're controlling that or if they've done a different set together. No, this vocal, this, this long, strained out vocal. I'm taking that back just to listen to it. Oh my God. He's got so much control of his voice. I'm blown away. And this is only the first song. There's a lot of repetition, but I do feel like this song has that lyrically. It's a radio song, so I feel like it's too repetitive. But he's controlling his voice. Mm, oh my God, so, so well. Okay, so we've got some interlude audio. I miss you. Okay, so that ended with I Miss You and then a blackout. I don't feel like these songs transition to each other. I feel like they're all just split up and we're just going to be listening to all three. Let's look at the next one, Heartless. I've never heard this. So we've got a red light. 
I feel like this is for after hours. Okay, we're getting some hand movement, some choreo, some movement across the stage, which I love. So the crowd seems to be singing along to this one more. This may be a fan favorite, this may be very popular, but I've never heard it. It's more trap R&B sound into me. And his energy is so high with this song. Okay, so I've heard derogative language. He was referring to females. Okay, okay, nasty. Okay, this is a nasty song. It's got that R&B trap sound, and I like it. I really like it. Okay, so there's laser signs as well. What is this? What are we getting? Okay, this camera is in the way. We've got this big ass camera and we don't have any official footage yet. I'm watching a crowd recording. Move your camera. Thank you. Oh, that beat, that beat paused. I like that. And now we're into Out of Time. I love this song. This song I've listened to a lot over the past few weeks. When the music video came out, it kind of put it in my head again and it's been on repeat since. I covered my reaction to the music video, so all my thoughts on the lyrics are in that video. So I will be just covering his stage presence, production, and how he interacts live with this song. And color scheme, very pink, very purple. Very ominous again. And now he's chatting with the crowd. Getting that connection going. And this song is so mellow. And he's doing a little one, two step. Yes. These high notes. He's holding down these high notes. Oh my God. We know he has a good voice. We know he can control it very, very well. We heard it on Save Your Tears and we're hearing it again. He can control his voice effortlessly. And this is the perfect track to demonstrate that. The smile on his face, he's enjoying himself. And I love, he's turning the mic to the audience still for the title of the track. He did that with Save Your Tears. No, he's doing it without of time. He's holding down these notes. His vocal range. I'm blown away. Blown away. And he does this little twitch with his neck when he does the high notes. Don't know what that's about, but he's holding it. He's doing so, so well. I feel like we're coming to the end. Yeah, we are. That was just very ethereal. Very ominous in the moment. I do feel like that song dragged out a little bit. It was a little bit too repetitive, but his voice was immaculate. I want to go listen to these three again. And just to get my final thoughts all compressed together, I'm going to go listen to them, watch the performance, and I'll be back with my final rating. So guys, I'm back. Four to three songs. I am going to read it. And it was a very strong performance. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. And the vocals, his vocals, his interaction with the crowd, his movement and the way he controlled the stage all came together. And I really, really enjoyed it. Not my favorite performance so far that I've reacted to, but vocally it's my favorite and sonically it's my favorite. I love Manskin and how they interacted more with the audience and I love their production a little bit more. Maybe it's just these song choices that weren't for me, but if there's anything else from the weekend that you want me to react to regarding Coachella, any other performances, 
let me know down below any songs any requests let me know while you're doing that let me know your thoughts on the performance and your thoughts on my reaction and don't forget to follow all my social media my twitter my tiktok and my instagram are always in the description of every video my instagram's on the screen and i post daily on my instagram starting to post daily on my twitter and on tiktok i try to post once or twice a week so go follow all three and i do follow back so go follow and let me know that you've come from this video i'll give you a follow and don't forget to subscribe like the video and turn notifications on and i'll see you in the next video